Welcome back. I just got a new bag for the snowboard. This is a Mind Expander 152. You can see it's got some old school, all stainless bindings on here. I love these bindings, they're step-ins. Nobody uses them anymore, but I still like them, so I got them. Uh, but anyways, it's been sitting around, kicking out uh, here in the garage for a while, and I don't want it to get all scratched up and stuff, so I ordered a bag for it. Thought I'd throw a quick review on here of the bag. So this is a Dekine freestyle snowboard bag, and uh, it's in camo. These are available on Amazon. And I just wanted to see how my board fits in there. Some people say you can put boots uh, bo boots in with it. Uh, it's already got the bindings on there, obviously. But I just wanted to kind of give a visual of this bag, quality of the bag, size of the bag, all that kind of stuff, so you can see if it's the right one for you. I got this board last year. I was out in Tahoe. And uh, actually, I had been riding the same K2 169 for 20 years and had these bindings on it for most of that time. Loved that board, probably would have kept it, but it actually delaminated on both ends on the same ride down at Tahoe. So I went into the, uh, the, sh the store there and asked the guy if they had any demo boards that they were getting rid of. And he had just ridden this one. It's got the real short tail on it. So you can really do some quick carves and stuff. It's real fun. It's kind of like riding a skateboard. And so going from the 169 to the 152 was a huge difference. I loved riding it, rode, that, rode it there, and then rode it a couple other places since and have uh, really enjoyed it. So this is the 157. It's kind of a thick-ish canvas. I did look for a padded bag. This one is padded on the back. It is not padded on the front but uh, most people, you know, some of these are not padded at all. Some of them are padded both sides. This is kind of the affordable one in the middle. You can see it's padded back here on the back side. On the front side, most people were saying they stack their boots and throw, throw their clothes in there anyway, so I wasn't as worried about that. And so let's see, this is a 157. Just kind of some general, general impressions here. Stitching seems pretty good. All the way around, the padding is pretty nice. You know, it's kind of that tarp covered padding on it. The bag is uh, pretty thick. It's kind of a, you know, kind of a thicker canvas type feel. I didn't want that real, you know, some of them are real thin and uh, feel like they'll rip all the time. But this one feels, it kind of feels like uh, I have a Carhartt backpack. It feels kind of a similar material to that. It's got a pocket on the front there. I'm gonna throw some extra gear in. My board, like I said, is a 152. This is a 157 bag, they say. And it's pretty tight. Let's see, I mean, I think it's I think it's a good fit for the 152, but uh, it is, I would say, whew, 157, you're gonna be stretching it. There's a four centimeters, it looks like, uh, in addition to my board, I measured my board, it is 152. So if you got a 157 board and it's on the money or on the high side of that, you probably just get a bigger bag, I would say. But uh, mine 152 here, the overall bag, if we kind of lay it out there, uh, it looks like it's 157 on the outside of the bag or maybe the back side of the bag, but it would be really tight. So if you got a 156, you'll probably be fine. 152, 154, you're fine as well, but they do make some bigger sizes as well. Fits in there nice. I could definitely, you can kind of see the pop-up area here. I can definitely throw my boots in here and uh, also some other gear. So I'm really happy with it. I like the camo. I like that it's uh, different than everybody else's. I don't want a black one coming in and out of Park City or Tahoe because it'll blend in with all the rest of them. So I'm happy with it. Freestyle bag by DeKine or DA Kine, whatever you want to call it. 157 fits my 152 just fine. If you want to check it out, there's a link down below. Thanks for watching.